Welcome to the video ladies and gentlemen, today's status report of the 13th of September 2016 is a quick one, with just some updates on progress to 061 by lead producer Brian Hicks. So let's dive right into it and take a look at where we are with our milestone goals. After that we'll talk about some of the current top issues we are working on to prep for 061's experimental, and the 061 milestone goals are server locking queue, ready for experimental branch testing, no current issues preventing this at this time. Merge of new audio technology from Arma 3 Eden update. Technology successfully merged into Daisy branch, ready for further testing on experimental branch. Update of weapon sounds for new audio technology. All current firearms configured. Audio team is working on completing sound effects for future firearms. In addition, this week several issues were encountered with impact noises on some weapons not operating properly. This issue is being addressed by the audio team as of the time of this report. Dynamic spawning of infected. Gameplay programmers are still working on fully plugging in animal spawns to this system. While this is ongoing, the design and gameplay programming teams have been discussing ways to evenly distribute dynamic spawns across all villages and points of interest, and ways to provide a compelling experience without impacting the server performance budget during the lifetime of the server. Predators Still cautiously optimistic here, however at this point it's looking like we will be testing wolves on some of the initial 6-1 experimental pushes to see if they behave and operate as expected in a live environment. Beyond the team's defined milestone goals, they have several additional changes that are looking to be rolled into 061. Let's take a quick look at those right now. Dynamic Shadows Programmers from the Infusion Engine team have been working to resolve the last remaining issues encountered in the internal testing with this. As of the current build in internal testing right now, we still have a few small issues with the light in some edge cases ignoring geometry. However, this is looking good for 061 Experimental. There will be an example of this on screen now, which is taken from the DAISY Trello board. Network Synchronization Improvements As Miroslav, our lead gameplay programmer, discusses in previous status reports, he has been working hard on improving our client server synchronization in an effort to improve quality of life and reduce frustrating deaths and poor gameplay experiences due to client server disagreements. These are looking very, very promising. That said, as it tends to happen in development, internal testing has encountered several issues that can potentially cause unexpected changes to player position and movement under less than ideal network conditions. As everyone that plays DayZ has different connection conditions and communities are spread across the globe, ensuring that gameplay and network synchronization works properly under all reasonable pings and connection speeds is critical. That said, the gameplay programming team and the quality assurance teams are working hand in hand to resolve this issue for 061 Experimental. New Server Browser Many players have reported large frame drops and client unresponsiveness in our legacy server browser, currently used in 6.0 stable branch, and due to that we have pushed up the merge of our new server browser to 6.1, in an attempt to address this sooner, rather than later. Keep in mind however, this is only the first iteration of this, and some functionality will not be present or working entirely. However, functionality we fully expect the first iteration to be one-to-one -one with the current 6.0 server browser. Currently our QA lead, Andy, is tracking 16 must-fix bugs for 6.1, including but not limited to Player sounds significantly quieter than environment and AI Client crash after exiting Player position hitching under less than ideal network conditions 150 plus milliseconds Animation issues related to swimming Certain walls and objects not displaying shadows at certain angles Characters getting stuck when climbing ladders Player to player magazine capacity synchronization Item duplication exploit thanks to the new security feedback form. Client crash related to connecting to server. Characters stuck in weapon raise pose in certain conditions. So with all that being said, it looks like 6.1 is getting closer and closer to testing on Experimental Branch. I really can't wait as well as many of you. Let me know your opinions in the comment below as always. All links will be in the description below as needed. Remember to hit that like button as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you peeps next time.